So what tools do we use? We've got a selection here of the tools that we use mostly. Let's go through them individually. So cutting. Nipex is what we use. Uh, they're the best quality, made in Germany. Uh, very nice, sharp blades. They don't dint, they don't damage, and they'll last forever. And when you're doing uh, the kind of cutting we do, you can't go wrong with Nipex. Strippers. These hot little babies are the best for doing one to five mil, up to six mil. Um, fantastic. You get a perfect uh, strip every time. When we're doing a little bit larger, eight BNS, um, um, six BNS, we use the T-Rex style. It um, it gets a really, really nice strip. Uh, it's got a little measure in there, so you can measure your, your perfect strip every time. So, um, that makes sure that you can um, get your lug on there with not too much copper showing out the back, which is really good. Okay, so crimpers. Now these are uninsulated crimpers, and the reason they're uninsulated is because they do press quite deeply into the unit. So anything that's insulated, you'll break the insulation. So the way we use those, we just slide in the, insul the uninsulated crimp um, lug. You put in your copper unit that's been stripped back, and then just crimp down. All right, and see how it presses deeply into there? That means what's happened is the copper in there has been bound beautifully together and you're gonna get a perfect uh, connection and as least amount of uh, voltage loss as possible. Okay, really good. And always pull after you've done your crimp, always double check that it's perfect. All right, for insulated crimps, um, we use these ones now. Differently to a lot of the um, insulated crimpers on the market, these ones actually punch into the unit, which is really good. Most of them just press around it and they'll have the three different colors written on there. These are a bit different to that. So I'll just show you that. So once again, you put the, um, put the lug in at the appropriate size. You put in your wire and let the crimp do its work, okay? So it'll crimp right around there and then you can pull and check and you'll see it does punch through there nicely, but differently to the uninsulated crimpers, it only punches a small press in there. So it doesn't necessarily break the, um, the insulation. So perfect every time, beautiful. Now, the other unit we use is the uh, snap-on blowtorch. Now this is what we use for, um, for doing our heat shrink and also for melting our solder for Anderson plugs. So it's a, uh, you push the button at the back, you start it up, and then just work around slowly, keeping a good distance. Uh, if you get too close, you'll get burn lines, burn marks. Press the button at the back to turn it off. And there we go, a beautiful insulated crimp now. So that's some of the tools that we use every day. Uh, most of these tools are available from our store. Unfortunately, uh, Nipex and Snap-on, you'll still have to buy separately from their stores or from uh, a good um, uh, tool shop. Um, otherwise, the other units are available from our store. Just go online, uh, find the ones you want and purchase online. That's it for the basic tools we use. If there's any information you want, just comment down below or you can follow us on Facebook and comments um, as well as just giving us a call and we can help you out with any information you need to know about the right tools to do the job properly.